Okay, we reviewed the relative minor concept. So you always just start at the root of the major and go down three. Eight, seven, six, E minor. C, eight, seven, six, A minor. Okay? Um, and the reverse is true if you start in a minor key. So if I'm from an E minor, then it's one, two, flat three. If I'm an A minor, one, two, flat three. Okay? We reviewed all your task stuff, but I told you to do the thirds in the minor this week. So minor, minor, major, B minor. I mean A minor, B minor, C, D, E. And then to stay as close as you can to the right, in the right hand. Your right hand looked like this. It was kind of like bouncing as it turned. But I want you to reduce the range of motion here so it's just... Stay as close to the string as you can. If you have to play lighter, that helps too. Okay, um, continue to do your task exercise in E minor. With all these triads. Hey, what's up, Chris? Going well. You know Bob, right? I don't know if you guys met at the show. Yeah, Bob Wallace, Wallace, Chris Laughlin. <laughs> um, all right, Bob. Great song pick. Have a good week. I'll push your video tonight. All right. All right, bud. Have a good one. Thanks, on you. Okay, so you did well. Play all the scales and the tri uh, the arpeggios. This is the only one you struggled with a little bit. You were on the arpeggio. When it comes to the scale, use your middle finger on the root and bend up there to the time. So it's crucial that you shift back one fret for that B natural. And then catch it on the way down. Bending the B string and grabbing the pinky is great here too. And we did review the open E minor. So we reviewed the connection between this and this. So we did the, um, and then the active. And then you can do the static. transform to the relative major, which is what wouldn't you do for the Bob song. So here's your G, now start on G. Finish on G. Come back down. Same thing with the active scale. Um. Third and six, as always. And for the reggae tune, it was, um, it was like, you, did, you had the high version, I gave you two versions of the low one. One was like, um, it was two, seven, one. Two, seven, one. So that could be one counterpart. The other could be starting on a fourth and going. Wait. I don't remember the exact phrasing now, but it was fourth, third, 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 fourth. And then to do the reggae strum, well, first of all, it goes to the relative minor on the chorus, which is F sharp minor. And it's firmly in a new key, and it just goes one to four in the key of F sharp minor. Whereas, you know, the verse was just a one, four, five in A major. But when you're doing a reggae strum, it's really important to get the right sound. So I want you to focus on just downstrokes, where you just play the top three strings. And then what you do is you use your left hand to dry the chord up entirely. So I have to be smothering all six strings with my bar and my, my other fingers. And then once you get good at that, just add the upstroke as like a reflection, just like a afterthought. So it's. Most people, most Americans have trouble with this rhythm and they want to go like, they either want to start with an upstroke and go. Or something like that. Or they go. Da, 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 and it sounds like Jason Mraz. It sounds cheesy. But the reggae version is more. That's it. Have fun.